All right. It's uh, the last day for the Kenmore 1207 to be in my possession. Because uh, I threw a coat of varnish over the table here because the finish uh, had come off in a few spots and uh, a quick spar varnish makes the surface a better work surface. Um, I didn't do anything about the condition of the rest of the cabinet here because this is not going to be interfering with your ability to work with it to sew. The uh, hinges here for the drop down part of the machine, the screws were loose so I took them out and popped these hinges out to do the varnish and I put a dab of super glue down the holes and the wind just blew down the door of the garage shut. So I put a dab of super glue down the holes and now those are holding pretty well. Um, and we'll just tip these up, drop our machine down on, oh. I already knocked that one over. Okay. There, drop the machine down on. And the real nice thing about these, this setup is it folds up like that and the machine just sits down on the pins while you tighten these screws which, you know, if you watched any of my other videos, that's the same story uh, for every one of these machines that I've had that come in on these tables. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that I had that surprise super nice day on oh that's what happened I did not wiggle this side down far enough there the motor was propped up against this tape side here and the machine was not sitting completely down on the hinge. So loosen that, hold it up so it sits down all the way on the hinge and now the machine settles in there properly. Alright, away we go. New felts on the pins there. Um, I don't know if those will stay put because they're loose. But maybe I'll bag those up and uh, with the spare bobbins. But this machine was real filthy. After a lot of scrubbing, a little bit of work, it is ready to go onto a new home and do a lot more stitching. Um, the most significant problem with this machine is that somebody, when it was stiff and they couldn't get it to turn, instead of opening this up, making sure it's all lubricated and loose inside, they cranked on the hand wheel and grabbed it with a pair of pliers and screwed it down as tight as they could to try and get the machine to go. And the hand wheel lock knob on the end of any sewing machine, uh, if the machine won't turn, uh, don't over tighten that knob. Make sure it comes off, check the machine to make, its loo make sure it's loose, and then put this lock knob back in place, uh, but tightening this down is never the answer. You have to be able to finger tighten it. So as soon as you apply any amount of pressure on it with a pair of pliers or something, that lock knob isn't gonna work properly anymore. So um, 
Yeah, so this 1207 is in good shape. The 1201 I had is gone already from when I made this video. Uh, and between the two, I was thinking about making a comparison video if I had them both at the same time, but this one was waiting for the uh, weather so that I could get this table uh, whipped into usable shape real quick. And that 1201 came with a good cabinet, so it just needed a little tune-up uh, and was on its way uh, much faster than this. So off to a good home soon. Uh, that's the end of the Kenmore 1207 story for me.